He's always 15 minutes late. It's 11 minutes past the hour. Where is he? You can't have both. You have to choose one. I refuse to allow you to reject the premise of the question. On this one, you must choose. Hang on, I'm remembering how to stream. Four days is like just long enough for, to forget all the techniques that I use to do my job, which is sad because it's really just clicking like four buttons. <clears throat> Me when I'm a pilot. So true. I do it. I stand by that bit. I stand by that bit that pilots, when they come back from vacation, they must have like a little bit of post-vacation fatigue. They must be like, wait, do I put the, the elevators up or down at this point? Do I put the elevators up when we get to cruising altitude or do I put them down when we get to cruising altitude? I always get confused on that. So I feel like what they should do is for the first like month back, they shouldn't put the pilots on like important flights. They should just put them on like, um, like regional flights, you know, like Las Vegas to Los Angeles or something like that. And then they could do the important flights, like the LAX to JFK and the YVR to ORD once a week. That's a big one as well. <clears throat> Aren't they all important? Well, it's like Animal Farm, you know? All flights are important, but some are more important than others. You may be saying, hey, NL, what happened to the beard? Although it was crazy, I, I, I'm sure bearded uh, guys can relate. I grew it out for like three weeks. It was on the last day of having it, but I didn't know it was the last day of having it, that my wife said, are you growing your beard out? And then yesterday, I shaved it accidentally. And then I was like, notice anything different? And my daughter was like, no. And I was like, daddy shaved his beard. And she was like, oh, you did. And it, to me, I was like, <laughs> like it, it feels like such a big change to my face. How'd you accidentally shave it? My, my trimmer, April Fools Me, it's supposed to have a built-in guard. So I trimmed my shit up. I was, I was looking like a realtor. I was looking real slick with it. I was looking like I just went to a, a Turkish barber or something like that. I had the Grand Theft Auto San Andreas beard line. And then with the built-in guard, I said, you know what, let's take it to let's take it to a six and just see if I could trim some of these like uh, some of these stragglers, you know, the ones that are like poking out. So I, I put it on six and went and it fucking chainsawed the whole hair, man. I don't know what it was going on. Like I the, the guard didn't do anything. It's really like the first time I've ever used the guard, but like it. It just did nothing. Also, can I tell you, we have the ultimate mundane, am I the asshole situation this weekend. Staying at uh, my wife's sister's place, Friday and Saturday, spending some time with our family. They, uh, their kitchen was pretty dirty, okay? I'm not passing judgment. They have two kids, busy jobs. They're in extracurricular athletic stuff, like all the time. So they went to like a, a sports practice for their kids in the morning. Kate and I said, you know what? Let's do something nice. Let's clean their kitchen for them. We're staying in their house. You know, they're cooking meals for us. We're, we're engaging in their hospitality. Let's clean their kitchen for them. So did all, Kate did the dishes. I dried the dishes. Had the, it was looking spick and span. And then we came to a dilemma. The dishwasher was open and this... Motherfucker was 98. I'm, you're going to know where this is going based on the way that I'm talking about it. The dishwasher was 99.4% full. The racks were full. The cup section was full. There was plastic containers sitting on top of other dishes. It was like Mount Everest. So we looked at it and we said... This motherfucker must be clean. There were no visible stains at, at all. There was no spaghetti stains. There was no water stains. We unloaded the dishwasher, put all the shit away. They came home and they were like, hey, the dishwasher hadn't been run yet. It was, it was only 98.2% full. So we hadn't run it yet. We were waiting until it was 100% full. You're the asshole. 
listen, two things. I feel like it's a nobody sucks here, to be honest, because we did also clean the 70% of the dishes that were just sitting on the counter that were dirty but not in the dishwasher. But it also sparked a heated discussion on the way home where I was like, these, some people out there don't know how to use their dishwasher. Why are you filling your dishwasher to 150% capacity, which means that your kitchen is dirty 100% of the time, when you could just fill the dishwasher up with the day's dishes, run it, empty it in the morning, and have a clean kitchen all the time? It doesn't make sense, man. This should have been an Am I the Asshole post. I, I, it does have everything. It's mundane. It's um, a situation everybody could see themselves in, but also it means like you could be construed as an asshole. Oh, really? You run your dishwasher every day? That's so bad for the environment. Wow, what's it like to be rich? It literally costs 80 cents to run it every time you run it. Whoa, what's it like to be made of money? Like it's, it's great for concern trolling, gaslighting, and gang stalking, which is like the perfect Reddit situation. Hey, Fail Gunner, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you, thank you. It, it, I, I enjoyed it because it was the perfect reddit situation i was like she like my wife's sister should be mad at us because now you gotta like hunt for all the dirty dishes that got put back in the clean section but i was like a little bit mad at her i was like what kind of what kind of bozo is out here with a 99.9 .9 full dishwasher and they're like no i'm not gonna run it for three days we could put one more you know knife in the knife drawer and then it'll be a hundred percent efficient like it doesn't make any sense to me how could you not tell the dishes were dirty? I swear it to you, and I said this to her in a, in a more jocular tone so she didn't get mad. I said, if those dishes were dirty, they were the cleanest dirty dishes I've ever seen in my entire life. It was like somebody washed the dishes 100% and then put them into the dishwasher to wash them again. Cause I, and it wasn't just me being like, I'm uh, an idiot. My wife was passing me the dishes too, so it passed two people's eye test that these are clean. And I was like, you know, you didn't, you went the whole week, you didn't need spaghetti or nothing? I thought this was America. There's no tomato sauce, no gochujang, no fucking ganjang. There was nothing on these dishes, bro. They were spotless. Anyway, I, I mean, I'm just saying, it, everybody, you, you're entitled to do your dishwash meta the way that you want to do it. Me personally, I like having, I, I think the point of cleaning is to uh, have cleanliness. So rather than, leave a, a dishwasher that's 80% dirty. When that shit's 80% full of dirty dishes, I just run it. And if there's 20% empty space, honestly, fuck this gay earth. I don't care. That's on Frigidaire, as far as I'm concerned. That's on Whirlpool. Make a dishwasher that's more efficient. Also, I'm, I'm over the environmental self-righteousness, okay? If you're out there living a carbon neutral lifestyle, you can look down on me. You know, we got motherfuckers out there. We used to put our groceries in plastic bags. Okay, now we don't do that. That's great. Everything's fine. I'll bring my own bags. I just hate people look at you like you're a fucking fascist if you forgot your plastic bags. Bitch, your vinyl bags are full of food wrapped in plastic. You bought plastic wrap, you motherfucker. And you're going to look at me like, oh, he forgot his bags. He hates the earth. You got two containers of saran wrap in that bitch. That's plastic, motherfucker. It's too much. They did, the, they divided us. They will divide us. Been, being all sanctimonious. Oh, I bought the green cleaner. It's better for the environment. I also bought 150 meters of saran wrap. I also got a uh, beef in a plastic tray wrapped with plastic over it. You got like 900 plastic bags in your reusable bag. Can we just get along? It's not us. We're not the problem, man. Oh, I'm not allowed to run the dishwasher when it's 80% full instead of 100% full. Meanwhile, you get to take a 45-minute shower because you're depressed. Okay, I see how it is. The rules, rules for thee, not for me. Ooh, okay. This, to me, this sounds like Push It by Salt and Pepper. Salt and, okay, they, they hate good music. Oh, it's You Can't Touch This, obviously. All right, yep, all right. Um, that's You Can't Touch This. That's a, that's a song that you can listen to. Bro, tomorrow's Bandle 100. Tomorrow's Bandle 100. Easiest Bandle in Earth's history. I don't even want to hear the fucking... 
All right, actually, it's kind of like a, it's a bit of a vibe. I don't like the song because I like good music. But it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a vibe, I suppose. Feels good to be back with the dolls. Can I tell you, by the way, I didn't realize that New York Times connections had taken over the world. I knew that it was somewhat popular because it's in the New York Times. And I knew that it was um, somewhat popular because it gets... Every day on Twitter, there's people complaining about connections. You know, Bassinet, Clairvoyant or whatever. How could somebody possibly get that this was musical instruments at the start of the... That's the game, bro! But I don't understand. Blue could be in two categories. That's the game! That's the game. That's why you gotta... That's a, it's a puzzle. Otherwise, it wouldn't make it, it... It wouldn't be difficult. You would just be like chicken, beef, lamb, goat meets like that shit would be too easy brother anyway sorry <laughs> where i really realized that connections was super popular my nine-year-old niece was using her mom's iphone and there was an app that served up endless connections now it wasn't um new york times affiliated but like it was like an endless scroll of connections puzzles and she was fighting for her life and i was knocking them out easy to be fair, she's nine years old, which means she was born in 2005. Sorry, no, I'm fucking old. 2015. One of the, one of the connections was Catfish, Jackass, Cribs, and something else. And I was like, oh, those are all old shows on MTV. And she was like, how am I supposed to know that? And I was like, you got me there. <laughs> You're fucking nine years old. I don't know how you could be expected to know that. Maybe they got to make a connections for little kids or something like that. Because we lateral think in this bitch. Anyway, I did see, by, I know we, we have, we're like half an hour in. We haven't talked about anything and yet we've talked about everything. I did see the bricks at the Granville Island crossing. I think it's smart. Ever feel unsafe crossing a crosswalk? Cars cutting off your right of way? That's why Vision Zero Vancouver is excited to introduce Bricks, a new pilot program to enhance pedestrian safety. Simply grab a brick at one of our designated stands, enter the crosswalk with the brick clearly visible to surrounding vehicles, and cross the street with the full confidence that you and everyone around you is aware of your ability to protect yourself. We believe bricks will be a major disruptor to the pedestrian safety industry. Although speed bumps and other traffic calming measures do play a critical role in keeping pedestrians safe, they rely on political leadership. And frankly, who can rely on that? What you can rely on is a concrete solution. As the saying goes, sometimes the best defense is a brick. That's a crazy intersect. There's lots of like horrible pedestrian intersections in Vancouver. Vision Zero Vancouver is a, an advocacy group to try to bring awareness to pedestrian safety on the roads. So they do uh, their publicity stunts, but I don't mean it in a negative way. They uh, installed some foam bricks at a pedestrian crossing and said, if you want cars to pay attention to you when you cross and stop blowing through the crosswalk, grab a brick and walk across the road. I think that's, that's very smart. They're, yes, they're foam. I mean, they're, it's accomplishing the same thing. If they were real bricks, it's, you know, I, I think it's fine as long as nobody's chucking them for no reason, but sometimes you never know in this city. <laughs> okay. Ferry Electric. Borderline impossible. Fairy Kanto. That's the first region. Clefairy. If Clefairy isn't a fairy Pokemon, we never play this game ever again. Fairy Monotype. Easy. Clefable. Easiest game of my life. Fighting Kanto. Primeape. Yeah, you thought I was going to go Machop on that, huh? No, no, no. I can name a couple of fighting types. Fighting monotype. Hmm. Hitmon Lee. No, Hitmon Chan. Okay. Kanto G Max form. Easy. Charizard Mega Y. What? Charizard is from Kanto. And it's his G Max. Oh, do I have to? Is, is it not? It's Mega and G Max are two different things. Charizard G Max. No. Oh. Fighting Electric. Um, 
the, the second to last boss from Elden Ring, Fairy Electric, it can't be done. It actually just, it can't be done. Unless, may, just, just maybe this Togekiss has like a lightning attack. Okay, it was worth a try, I thought. It's not that, what do we get, seven on that one? That's pretty good. Togekiss does learn electric moves. I knew it. Now, did, did, did Denny, did Denny, I see this creature in Pokemon Go from time to time. You know what I say? I swipe right. That's not Pikachu. Or is this, which, which one is the one where you're getting rejected? That's the direction I'm swiping on Dedene because I simply don't care. Honestly, I'm, okay, so I, that's left. I'm swiping left on almost every Pokemon unless I see that that motherfucker is a Galarian legendary bird. Now, I have a Galarian Articuno, which I'm pretty stoked about, but I had to use my Master Ball to get it, and then I didn't get the second Master Ball from the quest because my ass was not doing 60 raids in 60 days. I'm, I'm not Papa John's, okay? Moccasin? Slipper. Mm, maybe not. Boa? Mamba? Adder? Hmm. Hmm. Jab? Elbow? Prod? And poke? Jab or stick? Jab, stick, poke, and prod. To be thrusted upon. Elbow, bow tie, that's a trick. Wheel, wheel of fortune, elbow of fortune, prince of fortune. Hmm. Black mamba, a snake. Black ball, to have someone, to betray someone, essentially. Have them ostracized from a group. Black adder? Fucking BBC7 comedy program? Like, but then... I don't know. I don't know if I'm maybe going a little bit insane, to be honest with you. Slipper. Two consonants in a row. Ball, slipper, moccasin, and adder. It's never that. I, it's got, there's got to be a snake in here, man. Elbow snake is tube snake. That sounds right. Tube snake. <laughs> One away. Ball snake. <laughs> Pumpkin snake. Parts of a cat's toy. I think it's my best shot, lads. Ball snake. Slipper snake, elbow snake, prince snake, ball snake. I gotta own this one, they own me. Moccasin snake, seen in Cinderella. Oh, pasta shapes, pasta shapes. I could have gotten pasta shapes, no problem. How do you not get Cinderella when you have a daughter? Honestly, it's extremely like fucking antiquated gender roles, bro. Maybe my daughter's favorite Disney movie is Hercules. Fucking Boomer. Melville Salted Caramel Marshmallow Mug Toppers 9 Ounce. Enjoy as a perfect hot cocoa topper or a delicious snack. <coughs> Salted Caramel... 12 Marshmallow Mug Toppers... I'll tell you one thing, there's no way that you're paying more than 79 cents per topper. Takes you to about 10 bucks, but I think you're going even lower. I think this is like a 6.99 Andy. Okay, 7.49. I mean, I'm not paying a lick over 7.50, I'll tell you that. Okay, I mean, maybe I'll maybe I'll pay 7.99. Mm, I'll tell you what, maybe I'll pay 8.49. Tell you what, maybe I'll pay 8.99, but that's the limit. I'm not going over 8.99. Hey, Akiwu, thanks for the raid. Don't look at the screen. Close your eyes if you're a raider. How much would you pay in US dollars for 12 marshmallow mug toppers? Info, they are salted caramel flavor. $8.99? Holy cow. Well, that's, you know what? It's you that's making it cost $8.99. Couldn't you have said like $2.50 and then they might have lowered the price a little bit? 
Well, you guys are so eager to pay market price for some shit so that they never lower the price. And then in two years, you're like, what the hell? A loaf of bread costs $12. Because of the bread that you was hanging with. Heard they got your mans. Heard they got your mans on cost of living expenses. The boy that you was hanging with. Guy that just bought a $140,000 truck talking about inflation. You, didn't, you don't feel no guilt, no remorse, no nothing? The bread prices were actually a, an oligop, olig, oligopoly. That's actually true. Don't even talk to me about the bread prices. They, no joke. They brought... Um, they, they made a Law and Order spinoff in Canada, Law and Order Toronto. I saw an ad on TV. One of the episodes is about the Loblaws and President's Choice bread price fixing. <laughs> that's, that's where we're at in Canada. In the U.S., it's like, you know, murder. Well, listen, in the show, I think there was like a murder because of the bread pricing stuff. I don't know if that's actually something that happened in real life, but... Yeah, yeah. So if, for those unaware, for like 10 years, um, all of the grocery conglomerates in Canada conspired together to artificially raise the price of bread. Like to, you know, they're supposed to be in competition with one another. So in theory, they should offer the bread for like the lowest price price that also guarantees that they can generate a price. It's a little simplified, but you get the idea. They said, what if we stop competing and we all just like raise the price of our bread like two bucks because they have no other choices. Um, and then there was like a big class action lawsuit and stuff like that. And they got found guilty. And every Canadian got a, I don't want to be libelous here, $25 grocery gift card. I think it was a $25 gift certificate to the grocery store that bent you over in the first place. Pretty sick. Anyway, we live in a sick world. <laughs> That's why I only buy bagels. Sidestep the whole quandary. You know what? How about Canada? It's not that far away. 3,000 kilometers from Canada honestly kind of narrows it down. See, I just... I, I could not tell you how long this distance is. I couldn't tell you. But I would tell you that Russia to Norway is not going to be 1,500 kilometers. Maybe, maybe this motherfucker... It's not Japan. Don't be an idiot. Canada is not 3,000... Unless it is 3,000 kilometers from Japan. <laughs> but that Japan is not 1,500 kilometers from Russia, bro. How about if you fly over Greenland... You to the Netherlands. That's adjacent to the answer. Motherfucking Belgium, bro. It's Belgium. I honestly, this, I, the Northern Pole is undefeated. I would have thought, if you had asked me how far is Belgium from the eastern tip of Newfoundland, I would have been like, I don't know, 9,000 kilometers. But if you fucking go from the tip of Ellesmere Island over Greenland and wave the Santa Claus on the way, shit is like right there, man. Three, I mean, it's 3,500 kilometers away, but still. Spheres are crazy. I, everybody goes off on fucking Mercator, bro. Like he did the best he could. He turned a sphere into a rectangle, and everybody's like, oh, it distorts the image. Of course he distorts the image, motherfucker. It came for free with your fucking projection. I'm not saying there weren't ulterior motives. I'm just saying, like, he's literally doing, like, geometric alchemy. Can you cut him a little bit of slack? I don't know what all his personal opinions were in fucking 1803 or whatever, but still. This shit is Washington, bro. That's not a country. It's a state. It's the Puget Sound right there. <clears throat> I feel like maybe you're like the Democratic Republic of the Congo. I'm going to have to say you're Angola. Oh, yes! <coughs> Holy! I only know like five countries that I can pull off the top of my head that are on the west, the southwestern coast of Africa. I'm literally looking at nothing. 
Silent Hill 3. Uh, fucking, uh, fucking, fucking Fatal Frame 2, Crimson Butterfly. Fucking Fatal Frame 1. I'm a genius. I'm a fucking genius, bro. Is the original content warning games where you take pictures of ghosts? How do you know Fatal Frame? I was fucking subscribed to all the magazines back in the day. And by all, I mean literally official PlayStation magazine. And then like, for two years at EB Games, if you had an EB Edge card, you got a subscription to the magazine GMR, which I don't know if that one actually, um, I don't know if that became Game Informer or if Game Informer already existed and then later got bought by GameStop or whatever. But I mean, it was crazy. I don't even want to, the, the deal, I'm not saying you have to hand it to him, but it was crazy. I think the Edge card was like, $10 a year or something like that. And you got a magazine subscription and 10% off. Well, that doesn't sound right. Maybe it was like $30 a year. You got, a, you got 12 issues of a magazine sent to your fucking house. And then 10% off all used games purchases for a whole year. Like it was insane, man. It is a, a role-playing adventure game that is in the Gamebryo engine. Can I have a hint, please? It's a fantasy sandbox open world action game. It's, um, um, it's the Elder Scrolls Three, Morrowind. It is the Elder Scrolls, this shit was not, <coughs> pardon me. This shit was not multi-platform? It was only on the Xbox and the PC? I guess that's multiple platforms now that I think about it, but... Best Elder Scrolls? Uh, what's the... Which Elder Scrolls is the one that has the famous clip where um, the dude gets into dialogue while the NPC is standing on the elevator that sends him up to the spikes? I hope I can help. Necromancy may be legal in Cyrodiil, but few will openly admit to practicing it now that the Mages Guild has banned it. Farewell. May you rest in peace. And then when he ends the dialogue, the elevator kills him, and then it comes down with his corpse, and then his friend goes like... Oh, look at this loot and stands on the elevator and then it sends him up and kills him again. That's oblivion. He does, may you rest in peace. <laughs> oh, oh, man. That's an all time clip without a doubt. Is Tomo in heat? He's just fucking, first off, no. We took care of that shit like nine years ago or something. Secondly, he's just, he's just unruly. He's actually like, no disrespect. I never want to own a female cat. I had two female cats when I was a kid. When they go through heat, this shit is fucking irritating, bro. They find like the most echoey place in the, in the house. 2 a.m., they go to like the stairwell and just go... Spay them? Okay, motherfucker, I was nine. I wasn't in charge of those kind of decisions at that age. Shame in my nine-year-old ass. Your ass was probably like negative 17 at the time. Didn't stop you from thinking you had all the answers. You are now? Yeah, and I'm, my choice is not to own a female cat. I don't want to go through that shit. Name four female cats. <clears throat> okay. Um, Abraham DeLacy. Giuseppe Casey, Thomas O'Malley, O'Malley the Alley Cat, and then Josie from Josie and the Pussycats. Can I tell you a story, by the way? When we were in Washington this weekend, we went to a Korean barbecue restaurant that was all you can eat. I'm not going to talk, the, the, the value proposition of the restaurant was good. $45 US, pretty expensive, all you can eat Korean barbecue, meat plus sides. 
You're, you're, you're coming out pretty good. That's a fair price for a fair meal. Here's where things went wrong. They came around for the first order, okay? My wife said, can we get one order of galbi, one order of beef tongue, and one order of brisket? They said, no problem. Came back two minutes later, just the galbi. Threw it down on the table. They said, do you want anything else? My wife said, I just want to make sure that the one beef tongue and one brisket is coming. And the dude looked kind of confused and he wrote it down. Fucking three minutes later, bro came back with three plates of brisket, three plates of beef tongue. Not, not, not one, which we ordered. Not two, which would have made sense. But three, which I, I could only take as like he's trying to punish us or something like that. Now, we fucked up. We should have said, sorry, we only wanted one of these. But like we were like, oh, whatever. It's all you can eat. No big deal. We fucking ate it all and felt too fucking full. I was so full, my body sent like an emergency protocol to my colon and evacuated my bowels in the restaurant bathroom. Like that's how full I went. It sent a, a downstream message that was like, make room, because like, this ain't a joke, bro. Dude probably ate like 3,500 calories of meat and oil and salt. That, this restaurant, I honestly am like, it's not really their fault, but I'm like, I, it's one of the only restaurants I've ever eaten at where I was like, I think if you ate here every day for two years, you would die. And I stand by the fact, I think you could eat at any restaurant on the planet for two years straight and not die. This is the one exception. They, they, people were doing obscene things to fit more meat in their body. It's too much, man. The heart attack grill. Okay, the heart attack. Well, I don't know because the heart attack grill, like I know it sounds crazy. At least there's like fucking buns and potatoes and shit. This was just beef, man. Your body doesn't get a break. It's just nonstop flesh. A rain, a verb meaning to call a def huge waddles, a noun meaning what? Play it again, man. A duck waddles. What else could it have been? Irascible, a adjective meaning marked eerily, a adverb meaning in a I will not be washed. Two, two is all they get. Two is all they get. Ombudsman. A noun meaning a person who invents. Easy. Use it every day. Cloisters. A noun meaning a monastic. Pokemon fans when they get an X on that one. <gasps> Diaphoresis. A noun meaning perspiration, especially profuse perspiration. Suck me. Diaphoresis, bitch. You thought you were going to trip me up on diaphoresis? Guarnarius. A noun meaning a violin made by one of the Italian Guarneri family in the Sorry, 17th and 18th what? centuries. Guarneri is an Italian name that was later adopted into New Latin. Guarnerius. A noun meaning a violin made by one of the Italian Guarneri family in the 17th and 18th centuries. Guarneri is an Italian name that was later adopted into New Latin. Guarnerius. <clears throat> a noun meaning a violin made by one of the Italian Guarneri family. No shot, bro. No shot. Guarnarius. Isles, a noun meaning a passage, as in a theater or railroad passenger car. Is it hard words? Bauxite, a noun meaning an impure mix. That's not how you spell bauxite? I gotta make a call real quick. Oh, box A-U. This is a hard spell check, bro. Two R's in erasable. Wad, don't even talk to me about waddles. We produce watts, not waddles. You got to take waddles to the Peloton subcommunity and ask, what is that, like one eighth of a watt or something like that? We don't do that here. This is tough. Vulture doesn't mess around. Oscar nominated best picture, character name in title, milk. 2%. It, could, it doesn't get any more art imitates life than that. 2% milk, baby. Let's go. Helena Bonham Carter, Johnny Depp. Mm, okay, we'll go um, any Tim Burton movie for that, but you really want to make sure you don't mess it up now that you've said it. I'm going to say Alice in Wonderland. It's going to be 92%, but we take those. 
12%. Am I silly? Did I smooth brain into a good answer? Because everybody else was like, don't say Alice in Wonderland. It's too obvious. That, that feels great. Usually you're punished for dumbness. Anne Hathaway, character name in title. Fucking Ocean's 8, bro. That's his, his name is Danny Ocean. Maybe her name is like freaking Billy Ocean or something. Yes! <laughs> Let's go! Caribbean queen, now we're sharing the same dream. Top 7% is pretty good. You should have some text-to-speech options we could use channel points on. Yeah, I think it would really add a lot to the stream atmosphere when I'm in the middle of cooking up a 10 out of 10 bit. And then you say, Thank you, streamer. You've really seven, 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 nails, nails, seven, seven. Thank you, streamer, for the donation. Yeah, I think that would really, that would be sweet really tie the stream together it's nice because you get money and then also you don't have to talk which is like a double whammy as a streamer as much as i hate ai i do like um when justin gets a donation and the ai joe biden voice talks just something about it or when he gets there's a specific donation where it's a real joe biden clip where he goes like 200 million billion trillion dollars. <laughs> yeah, like, oh man. It gets me every time. <laughs> oh man. <coughs> so we'll go twos and sixes are done. We'll go for now, threes and eights are done. Trying to cut the evens in case we keep odd Todd. And then strength, not great. We'll go, we'll go here a font, but it's kind of useless, unfortunately. Why'd you cut a three? I know it's hard to understand. Our end goal is not to play um, threes. Our end goal is to get these kings fucking popping off. We've only got five of them, so the way that we draw them more often is by cutting more of this. But I know you, you pedantic fucking ass. If I didn't cut the three, your ass would have been like, you only cut one card with the hanged man? What are you doing? So fucking sit down and shut up and listen, okay? And if you watch with attentively, not scrolling through your phone simultaneously, cooking your brain on YouTube shorts while watching a Criterion Collection moving movie consecutively at the same time, maybe you'll learn something. But maybe that's too much to ask. Am I allowed to play Balatro while I watch Balatro? You're allowed to do whatever you want. I just want you to keep in mind it is a Tuesday at 10.57 a.m. What do you mean by that, NL? I mean what I said. What you think I meant by it says more about you than it does about me. I'm unemployed. Okay, that's, that's what I was trying to say. <laughs> Today's my day off? It's fucking Tuesday, bro. What do you own, a Japanese restaurant? Plus two, plus two. You can tell who lives in a motherfucking city based on who plus two that joke with no explanation, okay? Hey, let's go out for sushi tonight. Let's go out to the izakaya. Oh, fuck, it's Tuesday. They're all fucking closed. They all take the same day off. It doesn't make any sense, man. I mean, it makes sense because I'm sure that's the day that people have, like, the lowest demand to go out to eat. But, like, I'm, I want some karage. Why do you pronounce karage so weird? I don't know, because they didn't cook my brain on fucking 12 seasons of Love Hina when I was eight years old. It's because I was, I, I was going to school like a normal guy. And the, apparently that's something I got to apologize for now. It doesn't make any sense, man. What's with the strays? They're not strays. You're just coming at me first and I'm hitting you back better. You're saying some rude shit, then I reply with rudeness, and you're like, that's not, that's not a stray, that's a targeted strike, bro. That's a bunker buster. I guess it's a stray if you just watched a shitload of Love Hina growing up, but like, if you don't have a sense of humor about that as like a 32-year-old, you might be more cooked than I originally prognosticated. You can't laugh at yourself, I mean, what the fuck, you got a long life ahead of you. I guess in some ways that's a good thing, but like, come on, brother. 
having a day off during business days is blessed. It still kind of blows my mind that Americans don't have Easter Monday. Like the one nation under God, Andes, when the Son of God comes back to life. Apparently, some states have it. But then, like, in I, would, I was talking to Apollo. I said, it blows my mind that you guys don't have Easter Monday. He said, Easter Monday doesn't exist. I sent him a snippet from the Wikipedia article about Easter Monday. And I said, oh, maybe you know it by its American name. Dingus Day. Apparently, in Polish rich parts of the United States. Easter Monday is called Dingus Day, and there's like a parade and stuff like that. But I'm crazy for taking the day off work and spending three hours pulling weeds out the damn garden so long my fucking hamstrings don't work anymore. Is Easter really not that significant in the US? I was, I mean, I'm sorry for playing the greatest hits. But, and other Canadians, feel free to either, just give your honest opinion. You could either back me up or you could say he doesn't know what he's talking about. I, my perception of Easter within Canada is that it's the second most observed holiday after Christmas. What about Halloween? I mean, like, when you get shit off. Not like a, a ritual that you do on a work night and then you gotta wake up early in the morning anyway. More than New Year's? Well, okay, you got you, you kind of cooked me on that one. Not more than New Year's, like more people get New Year's Day off for sure. <clears throat> but also people don't care about New Year's Day as much because they just had Christmas. Easter means a lot because you just made it out of that like January to March corridor where there's like two days off. So when you get Easter, you're like, oh. What about Thanksgiving? In Canada, Thanksgiving is not nothing, but it's not, um, it's not as big as American Thanksgiving. Like, I would, Thanksgiving is like a top eight Canadian holiday. I really think it's Christmas, Easter, Victoria Day, then maybe thank, I think I said like literally a different list yet last week, but it's never the same river and it's never the same man. So like a, Christmas, Easter, Victoria Day, Thanksgiving Canada Day. That's the way I look at it. It's bottom tier in the US? That's crazy, bro. You guys are missing out. Easter is mad. Americans, when you don't get fucking President's Day off, y'all don't get President's Day up there? Americans, when you get the day off where the Son of God came back to life, allegedly, you guys sell, you guys hate working up there, huh? Jesus is God, bro. You're being a heretic right now. Don't sit to me with this Council of Nicaea shit, okay? Or the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, three separate entities, or are they all different prismatic shards of the Almighty's being? I don't know about all that shit, okay? They settled that in fucking the Byzantine Empire 2,000 years ago. That's not for me to know. I'm just talking, okay? I'm just yapping. I didn't know you were religious. Brother, I'll say whatever for like a, a day off. <laughs> it's that simple. I'm, I'm just being straight up with you. X-ray vision. One in four cards are drawn face down. Everything else is the same. <clears throat> interesting. It is interesting. I, I was so ready to be mad, but this is one in four. See, now this is the kind of shit that'll piss you off. How many hearts we got in this? Is that five hearts? It wasn't even close to five hearts, bro. It wasn't even in the ballpark of, of five hearts. <clears throat> one hand remains. Please tell me you are a high club. Yo! Yeah! Oh! Okay, two useless jokers um, at this point in time, essentially. I guess, uh, I mean, I gotta do something. I'm gonna start with the Arcana pack. And then... Uh, I guess I'm gonna buy Obelisk. I'm gonna play like some high cards. 
All right, this seems horrible. Um, what if you played like a full house here at the end? It's like so doable, it's already done. All right, good game. I'm gonna restart this one. <laughs> I think, honestly, we, we should have just bought the hollow instead, but that's life. It happens sometimes. Guaranteed full house. Okay, don't, don't be an idiot. By the way, is this the same fucking one in four that the wheel works? Because I have five face down cards in my hand. In eight cards. So, I mean... Doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. I played one face down card last time too. Discard it. Discard you with a smile. Cut me like you wanted me to do. That was a high card. That was not a flush. I'm going to restart this one. I think I got tilted immediately. You can suss them out sometimes by going rank, then suit, then rank, then suit. No, 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 no. I'm sure you can. But another thing you can do in this house is just send it. Hey, Anel, is my wife trying to delete me? She washes the dishes with Clorox bleach. I buy her Dawn dish soap to use, but she says she prefers to use bleach. Am I safe? Here's some that I, I never like to ascribe to malice that which can be explained by ignorance, okay? What you're going to do is you're going to tell her that you just got a letter from the insurance company and until you contact them, your life insurance is hereby paused. Okay, that's step one. Step two is wait two weeks. If she asks like, hey, what's going on with that life insurance? Then you go, oh, I called them today, but they left me on hold for 45 minutes and then hung up on me. You might have to pepper in occasional lies in this situation. If you see her switch up to the Dawn soap while the life insurance is supposedly paused, you might be in trouble. If she continues to use bleach on the dishes, then honestly, I think you're you're chilling. And I'm a little, I wouldn't say jealous because like our dish situation is pretty much handled, but I bet your dishes are clean as fuck is what I'm trying to say, really. I drink small doses of bleach to... Mm -hmm fortify myself against the poison. I understand that, but you ever consider what happens if fucking Scipio Africanus takes over the Mithridatic Empire and then you need a fucking way out, but you can't because you already made yourself immune to the very poison that you're trying to use to save yourself? You'd be like, oh, what the fuck, man? <laughs> it fucking kills. Skibidi Africanus. <laughs> Skibbity Africanus to you as well, good sir. Econ is cooked, sire. No disrespect, but just because you said sire is not going to protect you. You motherfuckers complain about everything, bro. Just relax. When I had money, but my points were bad, people were like, your points suck. Now I'm fucking crushing it on points. People were like, your econ's bad. You check the S&P 500 lately? You shouldn't be pocket watching right now, bro. 350 million Americans are working for all of us, okay? And we love them for it. Right now, we got different priorities. Just relax. It will all come true in time. I'll have you know the S&P 500 is down today. Okay, now, now what I want you to do is look at the TTM. The what? The trailing 12 months. Tell me how it's doing in the trailing 12 months, Jerome Powell. DL Guiga, are you here? Or are you on bottle duty right now? DLE is 15 years old? No, he isn't probably, okay? I love PE ratios under 20. Listen, Warren Buffett, okay? We've all pretended to read The Intelligent Investor. Let me know. Here's the deal. You find a, a stock in the S&P 500 with a PE ratio under 20 in this day and age. I would just, all I'm saying is sometimes there's a reason it's under 20. You ever hear, so you, after you pretend to read The Intelligent Investor, the next thing you got to do is read a random walk down Wall Street. And then you've got to hit a memento mori in the mirror every day. I'm not smarter than other people. I'm not smarter than other people. It will save your life. You will still die someday, but it will save your life. I'm in ETFs, bro. 
Me, when my friends say they're conservatively invested, they're in ETFs, and then I open it all up and it's fucking public sentiment ETF, inverse Kramer ETF, digital video gaming and gambling ETF, Canadian cannabis ETF. Oh, brother. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm economics posting. Well, finance posting. I apologize. Fucking quintuple levered QQQ fucking... <laughs> Anyway, sorry, sorry, I'd like to apologize. I lost myself for a minute there. I bought one share of Microsoft last week. How cooked am I? I think you're straight chilling, bro. Microsoft's going through some great PR right now because um, that one Microsoft employee saved the world by discovering the back door put on every single Linux server because his authenticator took half a second longer than it used to and he said that's unacceptable. That dude's a damn hero. He saved my ass. <laughs> I don't know how serious it was, but the way that I understood it is basically there was a, I don't know what you call it, corporate espionage. Bad actors conspired for two years to give remote access to anyone on every single Linux server ever made that was running an up, the most recent updates at least. And then some dude working at Microsoft noticed that his machine took half a second longer to log in and investigated and found it and closed that shit up before it popped off. That's fucking crazy, bro. That's like the dude in the Soviet submarine. And they were like, bro, what are you doing? Nuke them. The nukes are coming. And he was like, I don't buy it. The vibes are off and just decided like not to heat up the Cold War. The dude deserves a medal or something. Best I can do is eight large pizzas in the break room at lunch. Please only take one slice. We only have enough for one slice for everybody. But still, he's a, he's a hero. He's a damn, there's no doubt about the heroics of it. How pissed do you think the bad actors are? What the fuck, bro? No, no. <laughs> My nightmarish computer virus. No! Please watch Three Body Problem. I'm sorry to tell you, it's with no disrespect to you that I say this, it's never gonna happen. The only thing I will watch on Netflix for the rest of my life is Seinfeld. And to be fair, I am, at dinner time, I am watching Physical 100 as well. The second season of Physical 100. You got a chance on Physical 100? Mm, no shot. That's, that's a no shot, without a doubt. It'd be fun though. I don't think it'd be fun. I think maybe it'd be fun for the audience to watch me like fucking die in the first challenge and then get the shit beaten out of me for three minutes in the 1v1. Like, I'm not gonna mess with you, okay? It's possible I could have been 70th in the first running event. My cardio is pretty good. I've never used a self-powered treadmill. There's a lot of people in that, no disrespect, sumo wrestlers, strong men, like power lifters. Their musculature is better. Their cardio is not as good. I'm so. It's just that everything in life is a trade-off. So like by default, I think maybe I, if I really push myself, I go 60, 70 or something like that. I'm not beating anybody in a in a wrestling match over a medicine ball. It's just not going to happen. The best I could hope for is that a strong person picked me as their victim. So at least when they watched the episode, people would be like, I can understand why he lost that one. But if like a uh, 122 pound influencer picks me, I'm still going down, I'm sorry. It's gonna have, I don't stand a chance, man. <laughs> now, if it was all streamers, you're right. If it was all streamers, that's a different story. Maybe, we, I mean, there's some very fit streamers out there. Don't get me wrong. I might, I'm, I would feel more confident than going up against people who are like, you know, number one ranked CrossFitter in human history, Olympic, boxing gold medalist etc etc and then against chat i mean i think we go with first overall easy that's not even close but i was telling kate i think that what they should do instead of making physical 100 season two they should have made mental 100 where like the first challenge is they sit down with like an endless scroll of like multiplication questions and whoever can do the most multiplication questions in 10 minutes is at like the top rank and whoever did the least is like at the bottom. 
I don't know what I'm doing, by the way. These, this is not what I wanted to see. Let's just put it that way. Um, I'm going to create a stone card. I don't even know why. Th th I don't see how that could possibly help me. But, like, what else do you want me to do, bro? And the steel card. This is a bad start. You've lost confidence. You're not wrong. You are not incorrect about that. I'm doing one card discards. Like an insane person. Okay, high card. With a stone. That was much less than I thought it would be. I don't know what it was. <laughs> I was just cooked from the start, man. That was just... Anyone here going... Never mind, we win these. Anyone here going to the TikTok Riz party? Hang on, let me see. Let me take a look here for a second. Speaking of uh, a backdoor being on every device in North America. Today's video, 44,000 views. That might be enough. I mean, I'm not getting into the partner lounge, but I might be able to go to like the affiliate corner. If it's not VIP, it should be BYOB. You know what's crazy? A bar that was BYOB would be fucking lit, bro. But it turns out they actually hate when you do that. I think that they could lose their liquor license and go out of business and be shut down. <laughs> That's most Indian restaurants in the United Kingdom. You can bring your own beer to the India. Like, well, we have, like, you can bring your own wine to some restaurants. I don't want to say it's a scam. I have respect for the restaurateurs, but like usually you have to pay like an uncorking fee, which is basically just a tax for like you bought wine elsewhere so you don't have to buy wine at the restaurant. But like sometimes it's like 15 bucks, whatever. I understand that. Sometimes it's like 50 bucks. And I'm like, that's fucking crazy, dude. I'll just give me the, give me the bottle opener. <laughs> I'll do it myself. I was thinking when I was at the um, the all-you-can-eat Korean barbecue restaurant. You know what I thought? Because it was like an hour wait to get into the restaurant because it's a pretty smoking deal. And apparently everyone in Washington is like rich as fuck and doesn't mind spending 45 bucks plus tip on all-you-can-eat Korean barbecue. But I was thinking, you know what would be a sick deal? It's an hour-long wait. They got you sitting out there in the front room. What if they gave you like popcorn for free? So you're out there, you're like, I'm bored, what am I gonna do? Let's eat some fucking popcorn. Then you sit down at the table, swipe your card, pay 45 bucks for all you can eat, and you're like, oh, I can only have like two plates of meat and some kimchi before I'm full. Why am I so fucking full? Cause we got you with the popcorn gambit, bro. We owned you. That's not fair, that's not fair. Oh really, you don't think the restaurant owner heard you talking? Yeah, I haven't eaten anything all day so that when I go to the, uh, the all-you-can-eat Korean barbecue place, I'm gonna clean him out, bro. I'm gonna You got, got at your own game because you couldn't resist the popcorn. Bars give you nuts so you drink more? Are you a time traveler here from 1963? They don't give you shit for free anymore, bro. Water, maybe. He's going to some cheap ass bars. You actually got it like so backwards that it makes me laugh that you think you know something about the world. The cheaper the bar, the more they give away for free. The more expensive the bar, the more they bend you over. They got you paying like 19 bucks for a cocktail, bro. It's insane. You ever see the tweet that was like, friend who makes $12 an hour, I'll get this round, you get the next. Friend who makes $300,000 a year. Hey, can you Venmo me, me $1.21 as your share for the Uber ride? So I kind of fucked up the verbiage halfway through, but you get the idea. Which friend are you? I'm not going to tell you because you're not going to believe me, but that answers the question. Venmo 100%. You can't even do that shit in Canada. We don't have Venmo. And despite my best efforts, not all of my friends have wealth, simple cash. So what are you going to do? Fucking... Hey, yeah, you know, don't worry, I got dinner. You can just interact e-transfer me later. <laughs> sure, bro, what's your email address? What's your security question? Don't worry, I'm set up for auto deposit. Oh, sorry, sorry, I didn't realize. You don't do that? No, I just fucking pay. <laughs> I'm not gonna pay for you because your fucking ignorant ass is hitting me with three question marks. 
We're going Dutch if I ever see your ass. My friends, don't sweat it. It all comes out in the wash. You know what? I'm going for it. Please be an even. Oh my God, if you're a 10 or a four, I'm going to cream my jeans. Yo! Yeah! <laughs> I don't even care, run it again. Minus one hand size again. Sevens, not as, not as good of a hit, but still. 12 tens, 10 sevens, okay. Sort by rank me. I don't believe we're gonna get two fours. I don't believe, well, I don't believe we would be so lucky. Dump the fours, it's all tens. What the fuck, bro? You fucking dickhead, man. <laughs> it's all tens. <laughs> tens and sevens, baby. Tens and sevens. Oh! How the fuck would I know? It's ten tens and sevens, baby. Tens and sevens. What the fuck did I tell you? What the fuck did I tell you? Not dying is very advantageous. Maybe, maybe I, I gotta remember the ramen strat. What's the ramen strat? The fuck is this, bro? <laughs> Give me some tens! You run ramen until you don't need to run ramen anymore. You just enjoy it while it lasts. Now, how about five sevens? There's gotta be something to this, right? Gulp? Gulpers? I don't, I simply don't believe this. I simply, I, I, I we're, we're, we're killed. We're dead. We're cooked. Where the hell were my, how many tens I got left in this deck? Nine tens in 18 cards? Draw five of them right now. You fucking dickhead, bro. We have eight tens left in 13 cards? That's nonsensical. I mean, we got to throw a slash marker in here. Slash marker. Call that challenge too. This challenge actually is uh, e extremely frustrating. <laughs> this is a gimme. <laughs> I'm just, me personally, I'm inclined to say when it says... One in four cards is drawn face down. That shit is a damn lie. Balatro is just sap again. Just please don't play as much of it as you did sap and Isaac. How about you do your job and you let me do my job? I'm doing all right. I had a living funeral yesterday. You ever have a living funeral? It's kind of like a once in a lifetime experience. What's a living funeral? The live stream fails subreddit was uh, in memoriam for me yesterday. April Fools, I'm not dead. I'm fucking here. All I'm saying is we're, we're getting some venerations here, okay? I appreciate it. Now at 5.02 in the morning when I opened up Twitter and librarian said, April Fools, we're going to flood live stream fails with NL clips. And then I replied, please don't. I didn't realize that it was Ozymandias. It was too late. You really think I would have told you my evil plan if uh, it hadn't already been enacted? The squid aliens invaded us 15 minutes ago. <laughs> Librarian, thank you for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you, thank you. I'm, I'm going double skippers on this one. Did you know, by the way, I have to protect my uh, American brothers. Boston Pizza has started making inroads in Washington State. Boston Pizza is a Canadian chain of extremely mid-pizza that has taken over every mid-sized Canadian city between 30,000 and 300,000 residents. They made it down to the United States, but they took the pizza out. 
Justin Timberlake said, lose the pizza. Boston's, it just sounds better. Probably because in America, they know that Boston doesn't have remarkable pizza. So they just called it Boston's instead. Imagine you're surprised when you drop 70 bucks on dinner for three at Boston's and find out that that shit is a Canadian company. Shit started in like fucking Hope, British Columbia or something. Do not go there. Unless, but if you find yourself there, get the pierogi pizza. It's not that bad. But otherwise... <laughs> anyway, the point is I'm going all in. One in four cards is drawn face down. It's the thing. That's what's interesting about it. We're so due. We're actually so due. Go Fibonacci on this one. Everyone's favorite type A roguelite chatter. Hey, buy this thing that only shows up uh, due to random chance. Trust me. Oh, it's obscene, man! I don't, I mean, I don't love to spend early, but I actually think photograph goes hard. It's a little harder when you don't know what the fuck you're playing, but... Are you fucking kidding me, man? What am I supposed to do with this shit? I want to see the fucking code. Because this is not right, bro. And I want to see this calls into question the code for the wheel as well. You can read the code? No, I can't because it's fucking Lua, bro. Shit is fucking index uh, array at one ass you know the tweet that's like why do all the hot girls follow chib lee that's how, that's how i feel about lua why do all the good devs use lua runescape is made in java honestly i'm not even knocking you if you like made a game in 2024 it's more than i've ever done in the industry at least where, where did my mans go <coughs> pardon me but if you made a game in fucking like 1997, you are a god, essentially, as far as I'm concerned. You know, like, making a game is hard in 2024, but you're basically, like, instantiating, like, a player object and then type on, like, player.move. If arrow key, if get key code down equals arrow key right, player.move argument supplied is right. Back in the day, it was fucking like plus equals ampersand carrot 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 plus equals ampersand carrot carrot carrot. Like it didn't. It's not English, bro. Nowadays, it's just like writing an essay. Well, empress. Hmm, that don't impress me much. So you got four hearts, but do you have the touch? Yeah, sure. One in four cards is drawn face down. Or as I like to say, fucking all in all fucking cards are drawn fucking face down. Okay, let's see. This is what we do. You, get, you only get the... You go to the settings menu. Game speed, 0.5. That's two spades. Now we know, at least. Now we know. Brother, I'm gonna cry. How is it possible like we didn't draw a natural flush at this point? Yeah, discard the wild card. Why not? <laughs> okay, play. I'm playing one card and drawing, discarding no spades, drawing a spade. Okay, discarding two spades. The fuck is wrong with you, man? It's like, just level with me, local tongue. All I'm asking is for you not to lie. Just tell the truth. It's not one in four. That's not, it, look at it, it's not one in four. I don't know wh how much more evidence than this you need. Have we ever drawn a quarter or less? I don't believe so. I don't believe so. Oh, a red seal. You shouldn't have. What did I do to deserve this, this bounty, this beautiful gift of a useful card? You wouldn't fuck me like this. It's that simple. Dump them both. That would have been a flush, but I'm not taking any chances. Okay, we may be forced to take some chances. <laughs> brother, 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 brother. Oh, please. We weren't even close. We weren't even close, okay? 
Local Thunk drops worst challenge of all time. Asked to leave. GDC. Easiest play of my life. Obelisk incoming. Don't test me. That's fucking, that's fucking dog shit, bro. It's fucking ass. No, no, no. That's, that's, you're teasing me with this. Give me a spade, bro. Oh my god. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose my, I'm gonna lose my motherfucking mind. <laughs> they don't, it, it's not one in four, man. Never play a gotcha game. I'm one step ahead of you, brother. Although I will say we went to Dave and Buster's this weekend. First time ever at Dave and Buster's. It's kind of sick. That being said, I do understand why every Gen Z between the ages of like 18 and 27 is fully addicted to gambling. Because like probably 75% of the games in Dave and Buster's are literally like you scan a card, it sucks $3 off the card, and then it spins a slot machine. And even like if you win the jackpot, you basically like turned real U.S. currency into like tokens that are worth one tenth of a U.S. dollar that you can only use to buy. Can I just say products made in facilities where the conditions that the product was made in means that whoever owns the product is going to get a chronic respiratory infection. Like everything, I don't know, all the toys from Dave & Buster's kind of smell like they took, a, like the sniff took a day off your lifespan. Anyway, I'm stalling because I don't know what to do. Probably the best thing is, what are, what are we cutting? Nothing yet, we're just creating more diamonds. Okay, cool queen. I had a good time though. People, <coughs> pardon me, people were like, how'd you do? Well, you lose the second you walk in the door. It's basically a casino, is the way I looked at it. We, we played for a couple hours with 70 bucks on our card. Came away with two plushies and a large package of Airheads candy. Felt like that was, given the circumstances, pretty decent. We won three jackpots. Two of them were on a slot machine type game. And then one of them was on, a, it's called Black Hole. It's like a pinball plunger. And if you do it at like the perfect power, you win the jackpot. If you go a little past that power, it you get like zero. And if you go under that, you get decreasing rewards. But I like, I did it the first time. I got like the second best reward. And I was like, I got to keep playing this. Did it another time, busted out. Did it another time, second best reward. Fourth time, I hit the jackpot. And I was like, I can farm this shit. But then I realized when I won the jackpot for 780 tokens, the jackpot then went down to 250. And I said, mm, that's reverse arbitrage. I also got kind of pissed off. They had an ax throwing game. I've never thrown an ax in my life. Round one, one bullseye, two blue rings. I thought that's pretty good. Round two, two bullseyes, one blue ring. I was like, I'm insane. Then I said, how many tickets did I win for this? None, bro. It's actually like an old school arcade where you just play the game for the love of the game. <clears throat> for the love of the game. I was like, what is this scam? <laughs> Playing a game just for the thrill of play? Just for feeling my mind expand and getting some entertainment? Where's my tickets, bro? I want a Minecraft leopard. You never done psychedelics, bro? I swear it to you. I know I've said my piece on this before. I'm ignorant on psychedelics. Do not take me as a source. There's two reasons I've never done psychedelics. One, never been offered, especially during that period of my life where I probably would have taken them. Secondly, so basically I'm not cool. Secondly, it seems like 98% of the population tanks that shit and comes away with a greater sense of consciousness, but like 2% of people go on a deep sea expedition and never return. And I don't know if that's just one mistaken dose, or if it's like the, the, the brains are just built different, so it just gets stuck in there or what, but I'm like, it's the same reason I haven't gotten LASIK yet. Isn't there like a 2% chance you get searing eye pain that like never, it has no explainable cause and can't be cured? In my experience, it only happens to dumb people. Oh, okay, bottoms up. Uh, yep. Next thing you know, I come start the stream and I'm talking about fucking chemtrails and shit. 
<laughs> so, the government is using 25 words or less to control your thoughts, okay? Turn off your TV, people! I would still watch. <laughs> it's nice to hear, honestly. <laughs> I guess I can finally let the mask slip. Tell us all your thoughts on God. Why are, are you on your way to see him? Librarian, I don't think you would know that reference unless you learned that reference from me. Or maybe you learned it from How I Met Your Mother. Dishwalla! Come on! They had that whole Tell Me All Your Thoughts on God song. But like, I laugh these days. People are sometimes like, don't talk about religion. It's controversial. I'm like, bro, you can say anything you want about religion. Just don't talk shit about boy genius. I'm going with another steel card, even though my molt is fucking decroated, bro. And then give me a Jupiter. We're, this is the run. This is, we have been blessed by, quick, name a member of Boy Genius. Um, 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 <laughs> Leader Kenny. Ah, the trap door opened, the, the lever labeled accidentally misogynist opens up. I fall into a pit of fucking, all the girls I've ever met pointing their finger and completely like fucking dressing me down with all the shit I've ever done wrong in my life. And then he was ah! They're from Toronto, right? They're from three separate places. Yeah, so is everybody in Toronto. <laughs> uh, I think we will be creating another ace. And it's an ace of hearts, no less. The chosen one, Lizan al Gaib, as they say when they do in Sicily. Step, this is gonna sound insane. Spectral me. Oh! <laughs> now we're talking! I wonder if at Northern Lion is a good friend. Top 10 comments written before the streamer tells you to touch grass. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's a meme. Ah, the point stands, I would say. If your hand is a full house, then fucking chill. That's doable, bro. I, I can fish for that. I, it's just so rare to see all my cards. It's like that part in the third Matrix movie where like they finally see the sun for the first time in history. Great start. Okay. I'm telling you Full House will happen. We don't play four of a kind. We play Full House because it's worth five dollars. And then we lose. <laughs> what do you want now? Pair? Mm. <laughs> no, I'm afraid that's gonna be tough. I could play two pair. It's the same malt, brother. Play the pair, get the five dollars, we win these. Oh, <laughs> it wasn't even close. It's a tough challenge, bro. It's not it's not an easy one. If it was easy, they would have called it Stardew Valley. Just try a different challenge. Familiar with life? Doing difficult things builds something called tenacity. It's a very important skill, very useful. Builds character. And I'm not talking about shonen anime. Become kings. Threes. That's unfortunate. Okay, I'm a little upset. I believe that's three threes. That's fucking ass. It's fucking garbage. They're gonna kill me, bro. <laughs> it's multiplying the fucking shit by one and a half, but that doesn't do anything for me. Give me a full house. No! Two pair with a king in the motherfucker. No, okay. Hold, hold. I'm going to be actually become the Joker. This isn't even the fucking... 
not even the challenge. X-ray vision, okay, launch me. How does this happen? Sure, double tag me. I'm not gonna get two polychrome jokers. That's simply not gonna happen. Let's be realistic with one another. Let's not tell each other lies, tell each other sweet little lies. There's, there's something in the code. It, flushes are not this hard to draw outside of the, the challenges. It's just, it's, it just doesn't make sense. You see what I'm saying when I say it to you? You see what I'm saying when I'm saying it to you? If he ever played online poker, he would explode. Gambling addicts trying to explain how their mental is stronger than people who are not addicted to gambling. Guy with a whiteboard image. The fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Don't you have like some fucking Sri Lankan cricket match to bet on? Get out of here with that. Is he wrong though? I was 16 in 2004. Of course, I played online poker. I never paid it for played it for money because I didn't have a credit card back then. By the time I got a credit card, I was too smart to throw my money away on shit like online gambling. No disrespect. No disrespect. I don't blame you. Okay, I blame the the advertisers and the honestly the legislators. I had always, before gambling was legalized, I was always one of those guys who was like, it should be legal. Why shouldn't it, like, people let, you can't, you know, legislate vice, look at prohibition. Then when they fucking legalized it, they turned on the fire hose and I went, honestly, I think I was wrong. Like, when they legalized it, I thought they would still be like, hey, you gotta, like, cool it on the ads or something like that. But no, it's like Wayne Gretzky walking through outer space, going, get it twisted. You will be a big shot. You will be invited to Jamie Foxx's next party. Also, I think, don't we have like a, and don't quote me on this, Ken Burns, okay? Don't we have like a fucking weird view on prohibition? It did not work. However, weren't people in like the fucking 1910s drinking like 10 gallons of alcohol a year per person on average? And then like post prohibition, people were drinking like two gallons or something like that? I feel like it kind of worked. At least it didn't, it didn't work like, no one's ever drinking again. But it seemed like, you know, might have extended some lifespans at least. How about... Bless you, Anya. A lucky six. Bless you. I think that's pretty good, honestly. I think that could come in handy. I'm gonna roll and get a joker. That's a great joker. It's a great card. I very much appreciate that. Now, 3,200. Bless you. 3,200 is not an easy task. This is a survival situation. Thoughts on when to stop saying bless you if there's multiple sneezes? Me personally, I feel like you can always tell if a second sneeze is coming after the first sneeze. So I, I typically, I tend to forego the bless you on the first sneeze if I think a second one is coming. Then I always say bless you after the second one. And if a third, fourth, fifth, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, comes out, at the end of it, I just say, geez. <laughs> or like, are you okay? Or something like that. Because I'm not a, a multiple sneezer personally, but I feel like if, um, if I sneezed four times in a row, I already kind of don't like it when people say bless you to begin with. It's not a big deal, but like I get that you have to say it because you're worried about being misconstrued as being impolite. But I'm more like, I don't, I won't be offended if you don't say it. Cause like, why would I be offended? You're the one who's, I'm the one who sneezed, you know? So I always, uh, I always accept the bless yous, don't get me wrong. But if I sneezed like seven times in a row, and somebody was saying, bless you every single time, I might be like, man, fuck you. Now you're making me into an asshole because I just monopolized like, you know, 14 words out of you because of my sneezing fit. It, like you had nothing to do with. What it, You are a stud and don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Has supernova, plays four hand types around. Has mod powers and autocomplete. No, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it. I'm, I'm, Taking a deep breath, I'm not gonna do it. Mercy is power. 
Take mercy is power. Repeat after me. To wound is easy. To restrain yourself, that's enlightened. Good wheel of fortune. All right, one person said it. Let's send it. Nuts on the table. I'm not even mad. I'm not even mad. I'm not even mad. You didn't write the code. You didn't write the code that lies every time. If we hold, it's actually so makeable that your head's going to spin. Oh no, we're fucked. I'm sorry, you made the worst challenge of all time. <laughs> Everybody makes mistakes, bro. Even the Beatles got some trash in the catalog. Wait until you see challenge 20. Bruce Willis is dead at the end of the sixth sense. Actually, he's dead the whole time. You spoil something for me, I spoil something for you. I just got caught in the crossfire. I don't believe you. If you were going to see that shit, you would have seen that shit by now. I was going to watch Sixth Sense tonight with my wife, but you ruined it. Why does, like, with my wife make it sound so much worse? It's like, if just you were going to watch it, I'm like, whatever, fuck you. But, like, now this, this innocent woman has been dragged into the, the fray. It's fucked up, man. I do. I feel way worse now that you said you were going to watch it with your wife. But I, I know that shit is not real. Because I know if you said, Hey, honey, do you want to watch The Sixth Sense tonight? First thing she would have said, Oh, is that the one where Bruce Willis was dead the whole time? Guaranteed. I guarantee it. I'm not watching any movies that were made before I was born. That take, <laughs> you're going to get a lot of minus twos for the record. That take is crazy to me. Because, like, I'm guessing your ass was probably born in, like, 1998. You're missing a lot of shit, bro. There's a lot of good movies in that period. You're really going to not see Fight Club? Because what? Because it was shot on film instead of made on the Mandalorian soundstage or cooked up in Reed Hastings' Netflix green screen wet dream? Where they no longer have any blocking for shots. Guy born in 1926 be like, yeah, I'm going to take a pass on Battleship and Temkin. So true. <clears throat> if we get planet packs, I mean, it's over. What is this? Besides a, a cruel joke. I can't see my fucking hand, bro. Okay, two, three, four, <laughs> five, ace. No! Ace, two, four, five, six. That one's on you. We drew l fucking like 12 cards face down in a row. I'm not taking any losses on that. Give me four of a kind. Give me five of a kind. I'm, I'm, I'm pissed now. Give me five of a kind. Okay, I'll settle for three. Go again. Foil, I sleep. Okay, now we're, now we're back to, Lord forgive me, I'm back to the old me. We're flush posting. I really think you have to slow down for this challenge. I really, I, I was just, uh, I'm making a, a bet here. I was just in your country. I really think y'all gotta slow down on the fucking roads a little bit, to be honest with you. 
I don't know why, why in the United States of America, at least in Washington State, that's all I'm gonna say. I can't speak for the rest of the country. I'm going four miles an hour over the speed limit. Why is everybody passing me at the speed of a bullet? Like they're not passing me going like, you know, 10 miles an hour faster. They're passing me going like 20 to 30 miles an hour faster than me. It's crazy, bro. I, I was in the right hand turning lane getting off of the highway. A Dodge Ram 1500 tried to pass me on the curb to go up further in the right turning lane. Like there's only one lane. It wasn't like another lane opens up at the at the front. I'm like, what are you doing, bro? I like literally I can't I can't move anymore than I've already moved. Have you seen Nicolas Cage's wife? I feel like I have. Is Nicolas Cage married to like a Japanese woman in her 30s? She looks just like me. I'm freaking out. Okay, hang on. Nicholas Cage wife. She does look like you. I can see that. What is this? The phrasing on this. Meet Nicholas Cage's young Japanese wife. What's the... You, you, listen, I get that. I don't know what year she was born in. But like... It just feels like a weird way to write a headline. Weezer vibes. Okay, okay. Rivers Cuomo was never in the rock, all right? Let's slow our roll a little bit. Here's one thing I'll tell you for free, though. The more spades in the deck, the merrier. She's younger than one of her sons. I got some bad news for you, brother. I don't think that is mathematically possible. You haven't seen Interstellar? Ah, oh, so true, so true. My mom was younger than some of her stepdaughters. I don't know why everybody always acts like that's so weird, bro. <clears throat> like maybe this fucking, it's very common for like a 65 year old man to just have a lot in common with like a 24 year old woman. They're like at very similar points in their life. They have shared experiences culturally. You know, they grew up in sort of like the same cohort together. They got a lot to talk about. <laughs> I didn't say shit about sushi. You're saying shit about sushi. Now you're putting words in my mouth trying to get me in trouble. Zoomers and boomers have the same knowledge about file systems. Listen, I kind of think you're cooking with that one, to be honest with you. But you're not going to make any friends with the anti-zoomer talk here. I do, listen, I'm not that tech savvy, don't get me wrong. But I do think it's kind of funny that millennials have somehow ended up as like, well, in Gen X, have ended up as the most tech savvy generation. Because I kind of thought it was just going to keep going like straight up. That's how I saw it going down. But maybe, uh, I mean, I saw human progress going straight up too. And I've been disabused of that notion. So too early to VOD, too late to stream. You're not, you're right on time, brother. You're right on time. We're just finishing up the easiest Balatro challenge of all time. We definitely did not spend three hours on this challenge in this alone. We're definitely not going to lose this one at the last minute when we draw 27 cards face down in a row. That's a tricky one. You might be a steel seven. I gotta send you just in case. It was, it, look it, I can, I, don't need, I can see through the back of the cards now. It's a gimme. I told you we were fucking due. Now that's a big play. The, the engine has now come online. Flush me. It's that simple. Beautiful. Uh, Jupiter me again. What, as soon as, you know that the run is going to win when you get a Jupiter card. $17, little man. Put that stuff in my hand. When you get a Jupiter card from High Priestess, that is like God herself saying you will win this run, you jackass. By the way, this run's dedicated to Joe Flaherty. Rip to a legend. Okay, give me this. Right there. <clears throat> this shit was playing to the rhythm of Jingle Bells. I need to, no, I don't need to make space. What's wrong with the boss? 
people are saying boss monka s forces one card to be selected my whole deck is spades i'm beginning to feel like a rap god we are about to be anointed next time starting next time chat this is an honest question with a bit of a wink and a nod i've been baptized but i've never been confirmed what's the verdict on that going to hell or like i have to do a quick stop at purgatory and then i'm going to heaven or like to heaven i just can maybe like buy tickets at the door that's hell oh son of a bitch really what the what was the point of the baptism then bro I thought that was supposed to, like, sort me out. Because, <laughs> like, I just had that shit done, like, two weeks ago. I've been anointed! Okay, hang on. Sell me. Roll me once more. They've anointed me. Oh, man. It's finally happening. It feels good. Baptized in your 30s is crazy stuff. I was actually baptized in my 30s. My, probably like my 32nd month of existence on planet Earth, if I had to guess. Anointed once more. Earth me. You were over too? I don't fucking know. I was like alive, but I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> I was just kind of along for the ride, bro. Okay, basically, I'm just gonna say it. I, I own you. There's nothing you could do to stop me at this point. Big whoop. Okay, it's kind of like an insane play, but get worlded pleasure doing business with you oh you're always selected that's right easy <laughs> one of the easiest challenges I've ever seen okay main menu it's finally done I'm out of here <laughs> sorry I will see you tomorrow, but for now, go enjoy the rest of your evening, and I will send you over to my wife's stream, and I'm going to eat some lunch. Local Thunk, you can never nerf this challenge, okay? I just burned a whole afternoon on this one. See ya. It's Sans. You're a rich girl, and you've gone too far, because you know it don't matter anyway. Say what? You can rely on the old man's money. You can rely on the old man's money. It's a bitch, girl, but it's gone too far because you know it doesn't matter anyway. I gotta find it. You say money, money won't get you too far, get you too far. Okay, we're, I gotta find the higher octave. Just give it a second. Don't you know? Don't you know? He's pretty good. Oh, that it's wrong. Think what is given you so far gone on your own but you can get along if you try to be strong but you'll never be strong oh because you're a rich girl and you've gone too far as you know it don't matter anyway you can rely on the old man's money you can rely on the old man's money it's a bitch girl and it's gone too far because you know it don't matter anyway say money money won't get you too far get you too far i and dry out of the rain it's so easy to hurt others when you can't feel pain and don't you know Hello, Jasky. That a love can grow Ooh, cause there's too much to give Cause you'd rather live for the thrill of it all Oh, you're a rich girl And you've gone too far Cause you know it don't matter anyway You can rely on the old man's money You can rely on the old man's money It's a bitch girl And it's gone too far Cause you know it don't matter anyway Hey money, buddy, too far 
money, but it won't get you too far. Say money, but it won't get you too far. Say money, but it won't get you too far. Get you too far. And you say you can rely on the old man's money. You can rely on the old man's money. You're a rich girl, a rich girl. Ooh, you're a rich, rich girl, yeah. Say money, but it won't get you too far. Ah, ah, ah.